name is Boston CEO, music artist, video director. I've been doing music since I was, you know, not, maybe not to the extreme as now, but I've been as far as music oriented since I was, you know, nine, eight years old. But as far as uh, actually taking it serious, probably like since I was like 19, um, the, the, the videos, um, I just actually started doing videos like a year and a half ago. And a lot of people don't believe me, you know what I mean? But I just started doing videos a year and a half ago. And, it was just something I picked up. Honestly, being an artist, it just became like a tool, opposed to paying somebody to do my videos and all this other stuff, which is great, because you know, like, I ain't gonna front it to people they were better quality. But in the sense of me personally, I just felt like my money wasn't, wasn't you know, I didn't want to sit there to the point where every single thing I did had to be paid for. I had to pay for video, I had to pay for the beat, I had to pay for a studio, I had to pay. So I just little by little, you know, built my studio, and then little by little did the, did the editing and just been doing everything. The only thing I don't do is beats, and you know, everybody, everybody, look out for beats. So when I when I moved to Dorchester, I had this um my, my brother's boy, his brother did music. I mean, uh, one this dude I've been doing music with now, and uh, his brother, his brother was like, yo, you got you got to chill with my brother, you got to chill with my brother, he do music, and I was so big on music that we got up. And that was the first time I got recorded, like on the tape. And we did a whole, we literally did a whole three minute, four minute song. We do it with a, on the tape, if we mess up, we gotta do the whole hook over, we gotta do the whole 16 bars over. And kind of from that, like, it kind of, in a sense, it kind of made it easier for me to go in the studio and write and record and, and knock tracks out. So it's been more seriously since, yeah, probably like 19, and just getting recorded and hearing myself and kind of knowing that. The second I brought a tape to my block and everybody heard it, it was just like, and he's a real critique for ass niggas, you know what I mean? They do a crit, real, like real critique ass niggas. So they was like, yo, I like this, I like this. And by the third time around, it was just like, everybody loved this. So it was just like, it wasn't just me, it was more like, why not do this? I was good at it, you know what I mean? And, you know, in the hood you're growing up, not even the hood, like anywhere, man, like in this country in general, like you kind of want a purpose when you when you're growing up or you kind of want like something to cling to. So it was like, it was something I was ultra good at, so you know what I mean. I was just, I just kind of stuck with that. I mean, I, I was horrible when I when I started doing videos. Like it, it was never like even now I'm not I'm not, you know I'm not up to like that seven one quality or that Dante Luma quality or like all that. I'm not I'm not there yet. But and as far as the videos, like you know my man L, he been you know putting little clips together back in the days in the hood, like putting little stuff together, and he always wanted to, um, you know like he always he, our first video was like a video we shot was like horrible quality like. But it was it was it was us and we were moving and it was in a picture, you know what I mean? So that was like my first kinda like seeing videos, but as far as like videos where I kinda like felt good about putting out and everybody was like loving it was just like my man Gomez, D Gomez films, um, he a minute ago he um I was in the hospital and me and I had bought a camera, I started doing videos and I recorded we, we did like two videos and it, it was cool, it was like a cool little video and he knew how to edit at the time. So, you know, I didn't know how to edit, so I was just, I was the man with the camera, he was the editor, man. So, after a while, when I was in the hospital, I just gave him the camera. I'm like, yo, I, you know, I'm gonna be here for a minute, take the camera. By the time I got out, he was doing full-fledged videos, so we just, that was my, I just started cracking there, yeah, you know what I mean? And, and the music is, it itself is just kind of like so demanding that you can do a song right now, do a video, and then put out an album, and then that's just old, like two days later. You know what I mean? So, two, it's gotten to a point where maybe 10 years ago when the internet wasn't so crazy, you know, we, 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 it would have been, it would I mean, if you think about 10 years right now, back in the days, for what niggas got out right now, we think we was famous, you know what I'm saying? Like, we'd be like, yo, dog, we did it, you know what I'm saying? But it's so much other shit now, that's so much other competition that just gets to like, you gotta stand out, and if you, and if, if for one second in your head it clicks, like, I might not be that dude to make it, me this shit alone because it ain't, it ain't gonna be worth it to you for the bullshit you have to deal with. You know what, I mean? you know what I'm saying? I done, I done lived that life for real, for real. So a lot of times, like, it's like my, I told my man the other day, like, you gonna, motherfuckers from the suburbs, they dream is to live in Boston. You know what I mean? Motherfuckers from Boston, our dream is to get the fuck out of here. You know what I mean? So at the end of the day, it's like, me personally, like, I don't have the average nigga's mind. So to look at me and just look at my past and be like, that's, that's the nigga he is, is like, it'd be corny because. It's more like bad situations in a sense, but it's like I've always been a smart nigga. So as far as how I'm being perceived, like I smile a lot. You know what I mean, like I don't, 
I don't, I don't backstab. And most importantly, like, I want everybody to do good. Like, regardless if you want me to do good, like, I want everybody to do good. So, as far as, like, how I want to be remembered, I guess I'm going to be a real nigga. Like, you know? There's a lot, lot of definitions of real. There's motherfucking real niggas in Attleboro. There's real niggas everywhere. What makes them niggas real is that they ain't faking.